Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the new moon, okay? This is the daily vibes as well, so we're just going to see what comes up. This is also the 8-8 portal, okay? So this we're going to get a couple extra cards this time. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and uh, not every reading is for you, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. What do we have for this new moon? Death, transformation, transition, separation that leads to a new beginning. You need to have faith that everything happens for a reason. This is believe, okay? This is a, there's a higher power involved here. Have faith. Have faith in new beginnings. So we have an ending that leads to a new beginning. Death is a major transformation. It's a profound life change. Something is ending. We're not going to take all those. I should have, we just had death on the bottom of this deck too. So it's definitely, it's definitely a transformation. It's a time of big, huge change. Major completion, major ending. Aha! The Hierophant, again, this is, this is faith, this is God, it's a higher power, okay? Believe, believe, you need to have faith. Fives are, expect the unexpected. So, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. We have the world on the bottom, which is a major completion. So we have a cycle that is completing, we do, okay? It's a big cycle, it's something that taught us a lesson we have been on a journey that has has reached the end. Everything has come full circle. This is the end. It's the end of that phase. It's the end of that project. It's the end of that cycle. Okay? It's the end of that lesson that we needed to learn. Okay? This is a... It's over. Okay? It's completely over. It's time to focus on the future. You know, step into new territory. This is a new you. It's a new beginning that comes after... This is the completion of completions okay it's the biggest completion of them all okay so something is coming to a major ending okay this is a this is huge it is huge it's the end of that chapter of your life okay you you need to believe and you need to have faith and um, understand that, that there is a higher power involved okay this may be the end of a marriage, just being honest with that, 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 that uh, hero font card. Um, could be a marriage, could, it could be. Could be a commitment. Whatever it is, it's something that impacted your life. It doesn't have to be a marriage, it's something that you were committed to. Something that you believed in at one time, it's coming to an end. Um, What was I going to say? It came and it went. It was there and now it's gone. Just like that. Listen, listen, just listen. Listen to your gut. Believe in new beginnings as well. There's going to be a phone call that changes everything. But maybe it's already happened.
X in winter may have to do with an X, something that ended in the winter time. I'm not sure. There's a phone call that changes everything. Believe that everything happens for a reason. This ending leads to a new beginning. We have a major transition here. also have a snake here that has become enlightened. I don't know where that's coming from, but winter, what happens in the winter? Winter is mirroring the death card. You know, sometimes things die in the winter. They die in the winter and they come back more beautiful, you know, fresh and new in the spring. So typically winter brings you know, death. I mean, it does. Things die in the winter because it's too cold. So I don't know if something has ended in the winter. Maybe it's already ended and now, you, now you're about to embark on your new beginning. Either way, endings lead to new beginnings and that is, the, that, that is what we got here. You're going to be receiving a phone call that changes you, everything. It may be maybe the start of your new life. Ten of Swords. The end. This is rock bottom. This is betrayal. The ultimate betrayal. This is rock bottom. This is this is this is pain. It's suffering. The ultimate pain. The ultimate suffering, right? This is a breakdown. It is it is a mental or physical collapse. It's giving up. This is the end. It's over. Death. Goodbye. Goodbye. I, this is this is goodbye. Too much pain, suffering, but this pain and suffering is coming to an end. Hangman reverse. Somebody has been struggling. They've been struggling. They've been waiting. They've been holding on. They may be letting go. Totally giving up. Giving up with this is something is happening, you know, in, in some sort of commitment that they have been in. This is it. This is it. Can't hold on anymore. Can't hold on anymore. Somebody is definitely letting go. They've reached a point. It feels like they've reached a point of no return. The end, the end. It's almost like somebody is going home as well, if they're going home. Queen of Cups reversed. Uh, Queen of Cups reversed is a loveless situation. Somebody may be in a loveless situation where there's no love. There's some sort of sadness, there's disappointment, there's a lack of um, feelings being expressed. Somebody's not giving their heart freely. They're not uh, open, they're not emotionally available. There's some sort of sadness here as well. There could be some tears that are gonna be shed with this phone call that comes. The world reverse, unfinished business, lack of closure, leaving without saying goodbye. I wonder if somebody has been in a situation where uh, there's some sort of, well obviously there's some sort of suffering with that ten of swords. The suffering is coming to an end. Somebody could definitely be leaving without saying goodbye. 
Um, they've been flogging a dead horse, uh, not learning a lesson, trying to prove a point, receiving no success, having a lot of setbacks, re re repeating negative patterns. trying to prove a point somebody's been trying to prove a point by closing their heart closing their heart off there could also be a lack of self-love here not learning a lesson with that world card reverse that's not learning a lesson holding on somebody's been holding on to an ex perhaps hey man Queen of Cups reverse, that's not mastering emotions, lack of self-love, uh, lack of closure, I can't let go, I gotta hang on, that's an excuse. There's a reason why things end. There is, rejection is God's protection. I'm just saying, I know people don't want to hear it because they want to hold on to their ex. For somebody's holding on to their ex here. Absolutely. They're not mastering their emotions. They need to believe. They need to trust and have faith that God has a higher plan. It's time to let go. A new perspective is needed Needed with the Hamian reverse. We have somebody here that is really struggling with letting go of a one-sided, loveless situation where they have reached a point of it's over, there's no return, it's time to start over in another direction. I don't know whose message that is for, but it's pretty clear. The world reversed is leaving without saying goodbye. No closure. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. They could be. They could be. Maybe maybe they they just set themselves free. They just set themselves free. They reach a breaking point where they don't they can't be in this anymore because there's no love. There's no love. When I see that red X and I created that deck, for me it was like eh, like on the voice, you know, where they hit the button. But it can also mean the X. I'm sure you guys all have different meanings for it. But when I created the card, I was picturing the eh on the voice or the American, I don't you know, where they hit the button and they say, eh, <laughs> no, and you know, the, whatever that button is. Anyhow, I don't watch TV now very much. I haven't been able to hear it lately, but I know it's a big loud eh, and I won't go any louder than that, but you know that I can. Anyhow, so it's like a no, no. Uh, may have to do with an X. It could also be a no answer. Somebody may be getting told no. They may be getting rejected. They may be getting, maybe they've been rejected. Maybe they've been rejected and it caused them to become cold, you know, and it's time. It's time for you to uh, start over. You know, endings lead to new beginnings. And I do see a major ending here but somebody has been resisting it with the world card reverse they've been resisting change hanging on to a situation where there's no love okay where there's no love that X next to the Queen of Cups reverse anyhow uh, so this is it it's over it's over the, t the death card next to the ten of swords it's over it's over it's over <laughs> page of pentacles now page of pentacles is a new opportunity it's a new prospect it's a new door that is opening it's a new path it's where somebody finds their moral backbone to do the right thing and act with integrity and refocus and set new goals and start over even though it's not going to be easy so we do have somebody here that has been flogging a dead horse with a person that there ain't no love with and they have a golden opportunity to step into unknown territory, you know, to start over from scratch and do something that they want to do or that they're being given the opportunity to do. Somebody is or does have an opportunity right now. It's a golden opportunity that leads to long-term success. That, that Ace of Pentacles is, you know, it's something to invest in. It's like a gift. It's a blessing, okay? You're receiving, this is a blessing. This is a gift, but you have to find your focus to move forward down that path.
okay? It may require uh, learning new skills. It's definitely going to require hard work and the desire it to commit, okay, to commit to it. Somebody has an opportunity to build long-term security and stability with hard work and effort, you know, uh, if they are willing to stop flogging a dead horse and holding on to the dead end, which is clear, you know, and, and believe that everything happens for a reason, okay? But we have somebody here that really had, having a hard time doing that. But anyway, there is a golden opportunity here. There is definitely a golden opportunity here that can, you know, somebody's being given an opportunity to start over, okay? To start over from scratch. Three of Pentacles reverse. Now that's lack of respect. It is. That's lack of compromise, lack of uh, communication. We have somebody here that is unwilling to work together. They're unwilling to compromise. They're unwilling to uh, put in effort when they have an opportunity right now. King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is very focused, focused on stability. It's upright. We have a hard worker here, somebody that is very skilled. This person has earned a title. They have earned a title. They. This is somebody that doesn't give up. That that is highly respected. That is giving somebody an opportunity that doesn't really want to put in the work. Oh my goodness gracious. dealing with here but this is somebody that uh, may be naive may be naive may be controlling doesn't like to uh, give up their power this is somebody that may be on the wrong side of the law that is mean-spirited um, that is very controlling maybe even narcissistic Now the king of pentacles, male or female, pentacles are a feminine energy, so it doesn't really matter who it is, um, is very solid, stable, hardworking, loyal, down to earth, puts in effort to build financial st stability, and has earned respect because of their... Uh, ability to create the abundance that they have earned so there is somebody here that has a huge opportunity it looks like this is like stable solid secure putting money in the bank you know going to the bank uh, building financial security we have somebody here that is taking an opportunity this person is going to take an opportunity. May have something to do with a bank. Maybe somebody's going to be selling something and and uh, receiving a payout. Receiving a payout from a bank. Maybe they're moving. Um, King of Pentacles. This is somebody that is ex right in the future. This is long term stability. Hard work paying off. So when we go the we go the Page of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles reverse to the King of Pentacles. We have somebody here that is probably in a relationship right now with the Three of Pentacles reverse, where that they don't work well with this, these people. Could be family members. They don't get along with these people. They don't. They don't. It's not their tribe. It's not their people. It's not their people. Maybe it was at one time. Maybe it was at one time, but it doesn't feel like it is anymore. I feel like it's time to let go. It's time to release. It's time to invest on and down that new path because if you do, it leads to abundance. But it's going to require hard work. It is. So I do believe somebody is receiving an opportunity that can lead them to abundance and they've been reluctant to put an effort into it because it will require ending something it comes after a death okay a major death a major completion of a cycle right traveling moving change of residence with the world card upright that we had in this other deck that's a that's a change of residence 
It is. So it may require changing, you know, the residence. And I see something about home. So I said something about home. So I do feel like it's a change in the home. Something about the home. I feel like I feel like we have somebody here that uh, is having a hard time letting go of the past. They are having a hard time um, ending that cycle. It's already over. It's already over. I feel like there's going to be a phone call that changes everything that can lead that is going to lead somebody down a new path if they decide to put in effort and go down. Otherwise, they're going to stay in this situation where they're struggling so bad. It's such a big struggle with the hangman reverse and there's no success. The world card reverse, that's no success. That's that's a uh, stagnation, nothing changing. What you resist persists with the world card reversed. Okay, you're resisting change next to the hangman reversed. Somebody is resisting change. Okay, they're resisting change. They're having a lot of heartbreak. They're having a lot of sadness. They may see themselves as a victim. There could be some self-loathing here. You know, this is painful. It's, it's painful to release whatever this is, this previous commitment. You know, I don't know if it's with somebody that is going to be an ex or whatever. You know, it's painful. It is a painful release. Ten of swords next to the death card. It's painful. But it leads to long-term stability. It leads to something stable. It leads to something real because the Ace of Pentacles is something real, solid, stable, long-term. Um, so somebody is being given an opportunity right now. And I feel like they have been um, unwilling to compromise because of the fact that it's going to be uh, a lot of work. It is going to be a lot of work. Starting over isn't easy. And letting go of old people, you know, that have been in your life for a while, you know, isn't easy either. It's not going to be easy. Hard work ahead with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I mean, the choice is yours, though. The choice is always yours. If you want to hold on to a dead end where there's been a lot of suffering. There has. The choice is yours when there's another opportunity right here there is i mean the page of pentacles is a new prospect all right it's a new prospect it's a new avenue but there's going to be a need to compromise and work with other people you know, you have to be willing to, to work with other people and learn new things and do things that you've never done before. And it may, may mean that you have to end a relationship with other people that don't support you anymore at this phase of your life. Because the world card is a phase. It's all evolution. This is about stability and security and long-term abundance, right? So if you want long-term abundance, you have to work for it. And you have to deal with painful situations. And if they're over, they're over. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a force to be reckoned with. Be proud, be strong, take a chance, take a risk, just do it. Just do it. Reach for the light. Reach for the light. Or continue to go backwards and have setback after setback or after setback. There could be a horrendous loss here. When you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, this is like a shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss. Maybe that's what happened. Where there's also a run of bad luck. This is this is repeating. This is repeating past mistakes over and over and over and over again. Therefore, you have bad luck and setback and setback and setback. The more you repeat, what you resist persists. What, the more you repeat, the more bad luck you're going to have. 
This is a card of free will. It's a, it, this card wouldn't be here if it wasn't meant to be here. You're meant to go in another direction. But somebody keeps putting their foot in the wheel. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Replace that fear with faith. Be strong. Be courageous. Be brave. Just do it. Unless you want to go backwards. This is a card of free will. You want to go backwards, then don't evolve. I do believe that we have somebody here that is being urged to go in a new direction. Be strong, have courage, have faith, believe. There's a higher power that has caused an ending. They have. They may, it may have brought you to your knees. It's time to release and move in a new direction. Boom. Major life change. Dismantling of a false sense of security. Get prepared. There's going to be a change. I feel like it's 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 a on in a foundation. There could even be an internal disruption, okay? There's going to be a disruption in somebody's housing, okay? Whether it's where they live or it's in their body. There's going to be a disruption that forces change. This is forced change. Get prepared. Get prepared because the universe is in control. Major disruption and a false sense of security. It's time to rebuild. It's time to build a stronger foundation. Light is going to be shed. Something, and, and this is my second one that I've done. Some sort of truth is going to be shed. There is some truth that is going to be shed. We had the Queen of Swords and the other ones. So somebody is going to be speaking some sort of truth that changes everything. It's harsh. It is harsh. But it does lead somebody down a path to prosperity and stability and security. I do feel like there's going to be some heartbreaking news that is delivered as well. I mean, I hate to say that. But I do. I feel like we have somebody here that is... Uh, going to be receiving some news that they don't want to hear and it maybe it's a rejection I've done it twice now cut it to the ten of cups reverse I didn't say it the first time that is a dying dream it is leaving home it is relationship problems somebody is in a relationship where there is no whether it's with a family or it's with a partner where there's no stability there's no security there's no love there's no love and there's going to be a change on, in that foundation. Somebody that is holding on to a false sense of security, get prepared for some fireworks because it can't go on any longer. We do have a shock that is coming. Somebody's also going to be receiving some shocking news. Okay? They are. It may make them cry. It may make them cry. They're going to be receiving some news that may bring tears to their eyes. We may have somebody here that has become enlightened. It could be, could be somebody from the past. Just saying. Maybe we have somebody here that has become enlightened. They've been thinking a lot. They were stubborn. They were in their ego. You know, they hurt another person. They betrayed another person. They, you know, they blocked their feelings. They blocked their heart. You know, they were trying to prove a point. This person could be apologizing. You know, and I, and I, mean, I, I don't know if that's the case but the page of pentacles can be an apology uh, we have an individual that uh, is very very attractive that is getting an offer put it that way this is an attractive strong uh, it looks like it's a woman 
uh, that is getting a solid, stable offer that is real, okay, that leads to abundance. This person has been focusing on themselves, focusing on their health. Things are about to, they're about to get a gift. Good luck.